Well, today I'm going to talk to you about my experiences of being a stepmom. So, if you don't know, I've got a stepson called Reese. Uh, Reese is two and a half. There's exactly a year and two weeks between him and my son Jasper, and Jasper is younger. I mean, I don't think anyone ever plans to be a stepmom. Not because it's a bad thing, but I think just because, I don't know, you just. I feel like it's something that more happens than something that you plan to happen or kind of look for. So when I first met Pete, he had just found out that he was going to be a dad. We were both living in Dubai and Reese's mum was in England. I don't want this to be like a chat about her or like, we all have a really good relationship, but I kind of want this to stick to being about me being a stepmom. So yeah, I knew him, I knew that he was going to be a dad, we were friends, and that was it really, you know, I thought oh, it was exciting that he's going to be a dad, and, and then when we started dating, I didn't, I didn't really think about it, because we were in Dubai, the plan was always to be in Dubai, and it's not until I found out that I was pregnant that we started considering coming home. So even though I knew, yeah, you know, if me and Pete go further, then I am going to be a stepmom, it, it didn't really sink in, like I never really had to think about it, and that might sound really awful, I don't know, but it was never something that I had to consider when kind of going forward in a relationship with Pete. As soon as I found out that I was having Jasper, it kind of really, really hit me that I wasn't just going to be having one child, I was going to be having two. There was no doubt about that, it was, I was going to be a stepmom before I was going to be a mum, and that in itself was quite an emotional thing because I always expected that I was going to be I was going to give all my love and attention to this one person and then later in life I would then divide that attention to someone else and someone else and someone else. So it was a really, really strange feeling to think that I was going to be a mum figure to one child before my own child. So that was something that was really hard to get my head around. So the first time that I met Reese, he was six months old. I was three months pregnant and it's when we first moved back so I went straight round to Reese's house, um, and he was just there, and I remember he was just laying on the floor and he was all like tiny and wiggly and this just gorgeous little baby boy, but it still didn't sink in, it still wasn't like, you're going to be my stepson or I'm going to be a mum figure to you, it was just like, oh he's really cute, that's Pete's son, it was, oh, it was so weird, I think I was just so overwhelmed with the fact that I was going to be a mum and we needed to find a house and Pete needed to get a job and we needed to prepare for having a baby, I think there was all of that going on that it didn't, it's not that I didn't think about it and that it wasn't a big deal, it's just that I, it just kind of happened, I, you know, I didn't have time to sit there and think like, oh my god, but how am I going to be a stepmom and what's it going to be like meeting him and it just happened and that worked perfectly. So we started off having Reese one day a week and then it was Christmas Eve was the first night that we had him overnight and me and him just developed such an amazing bond together. After Christmas Reese's mum went back to work and I started having him every Thursday by myself. So we would have him on a Wednesday night, Pete would wake up, go to work and then that was mine and Reese's day and I loved it and it actually makes me quite emotional now to think that we don't have that anymore and if we would ever go, say, to Pete's parents and my parents, if Reese started crying, he would come to me, he wouldn't go to Pete, because me and him had that special bond, and it was just, I don't know, I can't even describe it, but it was, I was a mother at that point, you know, it was, I'd say it's weird, it's a weird thing to, to describe, but as soon as Jasper came along, I... I had said that I wanted to carry on having Reese every Thursday, I didn't want anything to change, I didn't want him to feel pushed out, I wanted to make sure that it wasn't like as soon as Jasper was here we were welcoming Reese into our situation, it was that Jasper was coming into me, Pete and Reese's situation and we just really wanted to make sure that he felt comfortable and he understood, not understood everything because of course he wouldn't but yeah, just, just that he was happy. And I remember the first time Pete brought Reese to come and see us in the hospital. He came over and he was like, Baba, Baba, and he gave him kisses, and it was just instant, it was this instant bond. And that for me was just like, oh my boys. Now, I'll be the first one to say I struggled with keeping up with that relationship. That Thursday that we had together, I found so difficult. I remember the first time Pete went to work, it was the week after Jasper was born, and I just... I struggled, I really did. I think it lasted maybe two weeks and then I said, we're gonna have to put Reese in nursery, which I felt awful about at the time, but it was a great move for him. He loved nursery. It, it's just, it's really difficult for me to say this, and I know some people are gonna watch this and think, you're a horrible person, but 
it's not the same when it's your stepson and your son and obviously my instinct if they're both crying is to go to my son but then my head saying go to Reese first so it doesn't look like you're just going to your son and then it, it was it's really really difficult and I mean Pete's amazing he divides his time and his attention and his love so equally I often feel like I'm so conscious of trying to do the same that I'll pay so much attention to Reese and getting him dressed and playing with him and everything and then I'll be like oh Jasper's here I definitely think that mine and Reese's bond has changed. He is a daddy's boy through and through. He definitely doesn't come to me straight away. It does make me upset. It really makes me want to cry now. And I don't know if that's because he's noticed like, oh, someone else is in her life now, or if it's just the older he's got and he's just become more dadified. I don't know. It's difficult. It's really, really difficult to, to try and keep the balance and, oh weird it's weird when I think about it and it's hard for me to explain to Pete as well I think he finds it difficult like why wouldn't it just be automatically equal and automatically shared and it's tricky every so often I think what if me and Pete were to break up and I wouldn't be part of Reese's life anymore you know what would happen would I still be able to see him and you know, would he still want to see me and you know Pete said to me a while ago if anything if anything happened to me would you still have Reese every weekend? And I was like, of course I would. And then you think about it and you think, but would I? Would his mum still want that to happen? And of course he would still see Jasper, but would he still look to me as a stepmom figure? And it's so, it's so crazy to think that you, all, you have all these emotions invested in a child that's not your child. Yeah, I've been in his life since he was six months and I look at him as a son. He is, he is my son and it, we have a family of four. But it's just so weird sometimes those emotions get so mixed up. I feel like this video might have been quite ranty and a little bit emotional more so than I planned. We're going to wrap it up here. Hopefully that kind of gave you an insight into my life as a stepmom. And if you're a stepmom or about to be a stepmom or you're a parent who is looking to date someone that will then be your child's step parent, then please do comment below. Tell me about your experiences and you know, let me know what you think of mine. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Bye!